um, speakers for you this evening. At first we're going to hear about the mayor, the mayor who's going to tell you that Brussels is the capital of Europe and the capital of humanism. And then afterwards we got Matthew Taylor who's going to explain some more about the Enlightenment. So at first I want to give the word to our beloved mayor. There is always a risk in words. Beloved mayor, what a hack of zamming. But uh, basically what uh, impresses me is that, well, we've not done what the Catholics did in Brazil, but at least we've managed to have at least 13 different countries, nationalities uh, together. And that is quite appealing because it means that what we think, the way we think it, and the way we express it, are gaining ground. One would only have to think, uh, go back to the, uh, let's say, 18th century in France, where the country was not yet Catholic, whatever the people tell you, but was probably still pagan at the time, which means that the Catholic Church only had again in the late 18th, probably early uh, uh, 19th century. It's the thing that is mostly sort of silenced because it's quite annoying because the reproach that is made to us is that we are supposed to live in a Judeo-Christian society, which I contest. I don't think that is totally true. It's partly true, but it's not how of the history. The second thing is that uh, I've always had problems as a teacher of the Catholic University of Louvain said one day, what happens when you go to paradise and you're 82 and you're in a coma? Does that mean that you get into paradise at 82 years of age and in a coma? I think that the man made a good point, but then again I think he was an atheist as I am. Basically what is of importance is not so much what we believe. What is of importance is that we gain the freedom of saying what we feel like saying. That we get the freedom of uh, the opportunity of uh, matters. A scientific approach is of the greatest importance in my eyes and I had the fantastic uh, advantage of meeting Stephen Hawking and in his latest book, The Grand Design, he mentioned LaSalle and Napoleon said to LaSalle, give me a state, a situation of what is scientific today. And the Marquis of the La Salle came along and he explained matters to Napoleon. And uh, when he was finished, Napoleon said, well, what about God? And he said, sir, that's an option we didn't need. And that's important. <laughs>